Are you asking yourself if you should invest in an antenna analyzer? If you decided to take the plunge, which one do you get? Today I'm going to try and help you look at two very popular analyzers out there, the Rig Expert Stick and the Nano VNA. Thanks for joining me in the House of Ham. I am Bob, WV7W, and today we're going to look at the Rig Expert Stick and the Nano VNA and see if either of these very popular analyzers are right for you. It is important for me to say this right up front. There isn't a right or wrong choice here. It will boil down to which is right for your individual needs. My goal is to give you the information you need to make an informed decision. A lot of the choices I make are my opinion. And if I've gotten something wrong or if you flat out just don't agree, leave a comment below so others trying to make a decision have a little more information to go from. The approach I'm going to take with these with this comparison is to evaluate each of these in the following categories I think most hams will care about. Features, display, build quality, measurements, accuracy, ease of use, and cost. I will give the goods and the bads for each unit in these categories, and at the end, I will give you my opinion of which I would choose if I could only get one, so stick around for that. So let's get started. Let's start with the Nano VNA. It features a 5 inch wide by 3 inch tall and is 3 quarters of an inch thick and weighs 9.6 ounces. It has an aluminum case, a 5000 milliamp hour rechargeable integrated battery that can be recharged with a USB C cable that comes with it. It comes with three calibration standards open, short, and load, as well as a stylus. Okay, it's a guitar pick and two SMA jumper cables, which brings us to the connectors. As I said, they're SMA. So if you're going to measure antennas with PL259 or BNC connectors on them, you will need additional adapters that are not included. You can connect this device to your PC or Mac via USB with a free Nano VNA Saver software. Next, let's move over to the Rig Expert stick. It measures 1.6 inches wide, 7.3 inches tall, by 1.3 inches thick and weighs 6.4 ounces. It has a plastic case, a 2800 milliamp hour 18650 user replaceable battery that can be recharged using the included USB-C cable. It has a SO239 connector, so unless you're measuring something else, you will not need an adapter. Now, I carry this little BNC adapter because most of my stuff is QRP and uses that. Now, it also has this neck strap that uh, is good for working in the field. And it also can connect to your Mac, Linux, or Windows PC via USB using the free Anscope software. And this one also has Bluetooth connectivity, so you can connect it to your smartphone with the free Anscope Android or iOS app. So, which one wins this category? I'm going to call this one a tie, as it's really going to be a judgment call which one is right for you. So there's no clear winner here. Next, let's look at the display. The Nano VNA has a 4.3 inch color LCD touch display. It is bright and fairly easily readable even outside, although you may need to shade it with your hand if you're in direct sunlight. You can operate the menu system with the touch display, but it also has a jog wheel if you prefer that. The numbers can be a bit small to read for those like me with aging eyes. The display is constantly updating so you get instant feedback of changing conditions. The stick has a 1.5 inch 200 by 200 pixel monochrome e-ink display. You can easily read this in any condition other than total darkness, even then with a light. This does not constantly update like the Nano VNA does in the graph views. You have to press a button each time you want a new sweep, which for me is not necessarily a problem. The numbers are much larger and easier to read. In the numeric sheet views, the display does constantly update. So in this category, even though the Nano VNA has a larger color display, the e-ink is better in direct sunlight and the numbers are much easier to read. So for me, I'm giving the win to the Rig Expert stick. For build quality, the Nano VNA is fairly well built with the aluminum case, which is hands down better than the smaller Nanos that are frankly pretty flimsy. 
I'm still concerned with the screen, particularly in the field. I bought this portable hard drive case to keep it protected, as well as hold all the accessories. I would also be pretty careful to keep this thing dry, as it does not appear to have any weather seals. The Rig Expert stick is a sturdy plastic case, as well as a well-protected screen. It also has a dust cover for the SO239 connector. And although I wouldn't submerge it, it does appear to at least be rain and splash resistant. So I'm giving this one to the Rig Expert stick. I have no issues throwing this in my go bag, although I did get this case here um, to keep it from getting scratched up in the field. Shout out to Bob over at HOA Ham who brought this to my attention. And you can check out his video on it by clicking the card above or in the description below. And there's also a link in the description where you can get your own. Next, let's look at the measurements that these two guys can perform, as well as the frequency ranges that they cover. The Nano VNA covers 100 kilohertz to 1.5 gigahertz, and can measure log mag, also known as return loss, phase angle, delay, Smith chart, SWR, polar, linear, real, imaginary, resistance and reactance, and it can measure up to four of these at once. But once you get beyond a couple, it gets pretty busy on the display. And it can display any of these over a sweep of frequencies. Now, many of these options are not going to be used by hams, but if you're an engineer, you might rejoice. Now, the stick covers 100 kilohertz to 230 megahertz and can measure SWR, return loss, resistance, reactance, inductance, capacitance, phase angle, and magnitude. And you can get a Smith chart, but you have to use either the PC or smartphone applications. So I'm giving the win on this one to the Nano VNA due to the frequency coverage and the ability to get real-time updates. Although for practical ham usage, I think the Rig Expert is better formatted. You can make your own call on this one. Okay, next is accuracy. And I think both devices can be pretty accurate, but one of them is much easier to take accurate readings. The Rig Expert comes pre-calibrated from the factory for all the ham bands. And the Nano VNA has these three calibration standards to calibrate a given frequency range. The smaller the range you calibrate, the more accurate the readings. And you can save up to five calibration profiles that you can recall later. So if you're just using a handful of bands, you don't have to run calibration each time you do checks. In my view, there is only one clear winner, and that's the Rig Expert, just because it's easier and, in my experience, seems more accurate. Of course, your mileage may vary. Next is ease of use. The Rig Expert has a simple and clean interface that is easy to use. The settings menu is very simple as well. The Nano VNA is more flexible in what you can do, but with flexibility often comes complexity, and that is certainly the case here. The Rig Expert is much more intuitive. The Nano VNA can be a bit wonky to find the settings you're looking for unless you use it regularly. So I don't think that it's any surprise that I'm giving the win to the stick on this one. And last is price. And at the time of this video, the Rig Expert stick is $329 at DX Engineering, and there's a link in the description below. The Nano VNA that I have here is available at Amazon and costs about $150, which is significantly more than I paid for it over a year ago. To be honest, I recommend going over to RN Electronics and get a known genuine Nano VNA. That is why I didn't include a link to Amazon for this one. There are several to choose from, and to help you pick the right one, take a look at Smoke and Ape's video in the card above and the link in the description. He does a fantastic job helping you pick the right one. And the RNL prices range from $60 to $125. So, if you're on a budget, the Nano a VNA can be a good option to give you the capability and not hit your wallet too hard. So, you should have some data points to help you decide which is better for you. So, as promised, which one do I prefer? I prefer the Rig Expert, since most of my usage is in the field. I don't want to be fiddling with calibration standards, and I feel the Rig Expert will hold up better. If you like the form factor of the stick but want more frequency coverage and a color screen, you can get the Rig Expert Stick Pro, which goes up to 600 megahertz and costs about $450. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, hit that like button. It really helps get this out to more hams. And if you want to know when my next video comes out, consider subscribing. Until next time, 73s.